Mr. Beast is known as one of the very few YouTubers who are never in drama. You never see him being called out, you rarely see videos being made about him, and that's because there's nothing really to talk about. He uses his platform for good and he gives back to his community massively. But recently, there have been a few little dramas that he's found himself in. A few weeks ago, someone posted a TikTok talking about how she was wronged by a creator who asked her to make a toilet cake. She said someone reached out to her, asked her to prove that she could make a cake that looked like a toilet, and if she could, she would be hired to make a cake for this really big video. This is not a toilet. It's actually a cake that I was asked to make to prove that I could make a super realistic toilet and in return I was going to get hired to make this cake for a very big video and get paid a lot of money and instead I was not hired and this video was shown to another decorator on how to make a toilet cake and long story short I'm never making a toilet cake again and you should always have a contract before you make something. Right away everyone in the comments was like it's Mr. Beast. He recently did a video where he built Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and he had a bunch of people compete to win the Chocolate Factory. They did a bunch of challenges and one of them involved cakes that looked like toilets. The contestants had to guess which was the real toilet and if they sat on the cake, they were out. There's four toilets behind me, three are real, one's made a cake. Whichever person picks the cake one is eliminated. So if they're right, they're wrong? No, they have to be right about the wrong one. I'm not joking. One of those toilets is literally made of cake. And whoever picks the cake toilet loses the chocolate factory. It was pretty easy for people to guess that this TikTok was about Mr. Beast because it's not every day that you see someone needing a toilet cake. A lot of people expressed disappointment in the comments and said they couldn't believe that he would do something like that. Was it Mr. Beast? Say it ain't so. I like just watched it and he had a toilet cake. At Mr. Beast, not cool. Pay her and make it right. At Mr. Beast, was this you? Mr. Beast just saw his video. So upsetting if it has to do with him. Turns out it was just a big misunderstanding. The person who made the cake actually spoke to Mr. Beast on the phone and they worked everything out and she was compensated for the cake she made. So for those of you that speculated that this whole thing was with Mr. Beast, I can confirm it was. So last night, Jimmy called me up and we had a good heart to heart conversation. We talked about where the communication fell through, what we could have done better to um, make sure that something like this doesn't happen in the future. That was honestly the first time that I've ever seen Mr. Beast get into any kind of drama. Of course, there's been little things here and there, but this situation really blew up. So it was nice to see that they resolved it and everything worked out in the end. A lot of times when influencers get called out and it blows up, it doesn't always end the best. People's egos get in the way, so it was nice to hear that he actually apologized to her. But Mr. Beast is back to being called out after posting his newest video. Before we get into everything, I just wanted to give you guys a warning because we're going to be talking about things like weight loss and EDs, and I know that can be a really sensitive subject for a lot of people. So no pressure if you don't want to watch the rest of the video. If it's not for you, totally understandable, and I'll see you in the next video. The other day, Mr. Beast posted a video titled, I didn't eat food for 30 days. At first, I thought it was probably just clickbait, but it wasn't. He set out to go a whole 30 days without eating any food. Now he did say that he was going to be monitored closely by doctors and he said over and over and over again not to do this at home. I am not eating any food for the next 30 days. Wait, won't you be hungry? This is what I currently look like and I weigh 220 pounds. And when I say no food, I really mean it. This was the hardest I've ever pushed my body in my entire life. Seriously, do not try this at home. I had a whole team of doctors watching me every single day. They kept track of all my vitals like these to ensure I didn't have a heart attack or worse. Thanks, doctors. He started the video off by doing a weight check and throwing out all the food in his house. He made a deal with his friends that if he ate before the 30 days were up, they'd be able to shave his head. He took us along on his day-to-day -day life of filming content and showed the challenges he was facing going hungry. He felt extremely tired, he was getting headaches, and he was finding it really hard to push through and film his videos. 
He was actually in the middle of this challenge during his Willy Wonka video, and he was so tired and nauseous that he almost quit the video. He had to keep sitting down every 20 minutes, and he felt like he was about to pass out. The day only got worse from there. I was so nauseous that I couldn't film for more than 20 minutes without sitting down for a break. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. At one point, I almost scrapped the Chocolate Factory video because I was so low energy. Can I sit down for a second? <sighs> it was kind of crazy to see him so dedicated to this no eating challenge that he was almost willing to risk quitting his Willy Wonka video for it. And keep in mind, the Willy Wonka set was amazing. Like it must have cost him tons and tons of money to pull that off. So for him to even think about calling it quits just goes to show how much not eating was affecting him. He was checking in with his doctors constantly and they were checking everything that they needed to check to make sure he was healthy and nothing bad was going to happen to him. He was also taking his weight daily and by day 13, he had lost nearly 18 pounds. I had to fly out on day 13, so I weighed myself from home. That's 18 pounds under where I started in just two weeks. He ended the challenge early on day 14 after Gordon Ramsay made him an egg sandwich. So you're breaking the fat? I'm gonna break the fat. It's supposed to be sloppy. And he ended up having to shave his head. I didn't trust Chris with the razor anymore, so this is my barber finishing up. And this is the only time you're gonna see me like this. For the next five months, I'm gonna be wearing a hat. <laughs> Goodbye. If you were just to look in his comment section, you would think the video was very well perceived. It's filled with comments like, Mr. Beast is the craziest content creator and will always be. Respect for everything you're doing for this world. Can we appreciate the fact that Jimmy is literally turning TV into reality? Mr. Beast's worth ethic is unmatched. He went two weeks without eating food. Most people can't go 12 hours. Respect. I'm glad that he made it clear and made sure he had professionals helping him to make sure nothing bad happened. But over on Twitter, it was a completely different story. There's tons of people calling him out over on Twitter, saying his video is harmful for people with EDs and sends the wrong message to his young audience. Do not watch the new Mr. Beast video if you have an ED or struggle with eating. It has weight checks and contains other potentially triggering content. Mr. Beast had a whole team behind that video who thought it was okay to show him starving and weighing himself to 100 million people. Trigger warning for the new Mr. Beast video, he does talk a lot about the body reacting to not eating for an extended period of time, so if that upsets you, please don't watch. Hey, just in case anyone watches the new Mr. Beast video and gets the wrong idea, not eating will make you lose muscle, not fat. You will weigh less and hurt more. Please stay safe. Mr. Beast making an incredibly triggering video where he starves himself to lose weight was not on my 2022 bingo card. I love Mr. Beast and a lot of things he does for the world, but the latest video is incredibly insensitive in my opinion. I don't know how this video made it past everyone and actually went up considering how dangerous that is without health professionals. But Mr. Beast did have health professionals with him and he also pinned a comment at the top of his video clarifying his intentions behind doing the video. He wrote, Obviously, as I stated in my video multiple times, don't try this at home without medical supervision like I had. Also, for more context, I have Crohn's disease. Basically, my gut has tons of inflammation. And I wanted to give it a break from food to see if that would help reduce inflammation because Crohn's sucks. I learned a lot about how I can use fasting to reduce my inflammation and I'm glad I did this challenge. So there's definitely a lot of mixed reactions to this video. On one hand, you have the people who think the thumbnail and title should have been warning enough to not click if you knew that topic affected you. And other people think it's still not okay. The main thing I think people took an issue with is the weight checks. I've seen a few people say that if he left those out and just did a fasting video and clarified in the actual video that it was for his Crohn's, then that would have been a little bit better. But he did have doctors around him and he did say over and over again not to try this at home. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think the video went too far and wasn't the best idea? Or do you think there's nothing wrong with it? Let me know and I'll see you next time.